Sarah here. Okay, so my next video is gonna be the Clockwork Angel vlog. It may come out before this. It's a reader song. It's an hour long, even after I've edited it. And our internet is as slow as a wet week as, as a snail at the moment. So it's taking forever to upload. And I ended up having to take it down because I noticed a mistake in the editing that was gonna drive me bats if I left it like that. And I had left it trying to upload for two days, and it was up to 39%. Two days. 39%. I am not joking. So I'm recording this video, I'm gonna upload this one, maybe, I don't know. It takes a long time for the video editor I'm using to culminate the video into a video. So depending on how long that takes, I might still try Clockwork Angel before this. Anyway, this video is going to be very random because if you can see my room, it has been decimated. There is literally nothing in here anymore. Well, okay, there's a few things that are going into suitcases, which is what I'm doing right now, but all my pretty pictures are gone. I mean, the lad's there, but that's not mine technically. So I'll just show you the books that I'm keeping out and the reasons why because I thought that would be a fun video. I could be wrong, but let's go with it. Okay, so starting off with, we have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Ravenclaw edition, just cause it's always good to have a Harry Potter book out, just in case I want to read. And this is my one that I've okayed to be battered and just, cause I've got two copies of the exact same book in the exact same edition. Both hardback. So I was just like, you know what? One of them can get battered around, and this is the one with the stupid matted cover. So it can get battered. Then I have Harry Potter from the films of Harry Potter, The Marauder's Map Guide to Hogwarts Scholastics. This I just don't want to put in a box because I think it's too cool to go in a box. Like, honestly, as much as the films annoy me, this is really cool. I recommend getting it. It's got a bunch of information they don't normally put in these sorts of things because the film's woefully inaccurate. I have <laughs> A Tale of Magic by Chris Colfer because it was too pretty to put away. I was just like, no. And I want to read it, so I kept it out. I was just like, one, I want to read it, and two, you're too pretty to go in a book. I know, stupid reason. I have The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Again, just a lovely book to, to read. A lot of these books are comfort books, like this one, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, a few others, purely out for comfort purposes, because I am moving and my anxiety levels are getting high. The Dark Powers of Tolkien by David Day I kept out because I'm halfway through reading it, so I just wanted to keep it out in case I wanted to pick it back up. I kept out The Survival Guide, The Ultimate Guide to the King Chronicles by Rick Riordan, and The Brooklyn's House Magician's Manual by Rick Riordan, because I'm really hoping when I get back I can just read The King Chronicles again, because that's the series I'm least familiar with and I want to have a nice read through of it again so I can read some background information, remind myself of gods and then go back into it fully prepared and I'll do book talks for those, don't worry. And I'll do separate ones because I actually scoured YouTube for a lot of the books I'm planning to do booktube book talks for to see what was there. And with the Kane Chronicles and a few others like Lord of the Rings, I discovered that they prefer to do them like as a bind up, they just talk about the trilogy as a whole, and I'm like, no, each book deserves its own attention. <sighs> Next, we have Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. As you can see, I've got all of these through it because I'm planning on getting a hardback copy, so I'm highlighting all the bits I find cool or informative. So, yeah, it's gone a bit very messy. I have Tales of Del Toro by Emily Rodda, or Joseph the Librarian, and because I just love it so much and it's a bit of a comfort 
book for me. Speaking of comfort books, I'm Rowan of Rin. This series, oh, I read this whenever I'm sad or upset. And it just makes me happy. It's just such a lovely series. I love it so much. And I love the audiobooks for this. Like, if you're not a big reader reader, I recommend the audiobooks. Seriously good. I've read the first book when I was a kid. Listened to it on repeat. Loved it. Clockwork Prince is out, along with City of Fallen Angels, because I just finished Clockwork Angels, so I really, really want to get into it and continue on with the series. I'm almost tempted to just jump straight to Clockwork Prince, because I'm like, do I want to deal with the BS that is the love triangle that I know is in this book? Or do I want to jump to the beautifulness that is Tessa and Jem and Charlotte? So I love those characters, but then I'm like, trying to remind myself, it's like, true, there's a stupid love triangle, that doesn't mean you don't love Izzy, or Clary, or Malik, they don't break up in this one, they break up in the next one. So you can read about their developing relationship, just remind yourself of Alec and Magnus. This is the disappointing lack of Magnus and Clockwork Angel, we had them like in one scene, and I was like, wait, that's it, that's all we get? Where's my Magnus? I think I've been spoiled by the Shadowhunter TV series. It was so much glorious Magnus. And I'm like, give me all the Magnus. Because yes, my favorite book at the moment is The Bane Chronicles because it is just Magnus. It's all of Magnus. I have the audiobook for that as well. Very good. And they change voices, weirdly enough, with each chapter. But the person they got to do the audiobook for what happened in Peru, good choice. Okay, I also have Ruby Redford, Take Your Last Breath. This is my favorite of all the Ruby Redford books. I think this is either two or... This is book two. It's my favorite. It's really good. I love the mystery in it and how it works out. It was really cool. So I kept it out because, yeah. I have Aragon by Christopher Pellini because this this, if any book is a comfort book, it is this one. This one got me through boarding school. <sighs> my love for this series knows no bounds. And I have such a loyalty towards it that one of my mates does, is not a big fan. And he was trying to criticize it in front of me. And I was just like, stop talking. Just stop talking. I, I will never say this series is flawless. But do not insult it in front of me. This is my baby. And the characters in it and my family. Do not insult them! Do not. Okay, I will do a full on book talk speaking about all my emotions in this. Because I want to do a reread of this book anyway. I haven't read it since I was at boarding school, but I've read it I read it so much at boarding school that it's like ingrained in here. I know exactly what happened in this book. But I need to do a reread and just because I read The Tales of Allegasia, The Fork, The Witch, and The Worm, Volume 1, that came out this last year, and I forgot to put it in my wrap-up, and I was so pissed off when I realised that it's in my description. I was just like, no! How dare I? Anyway, that was just like coming home and seeing my baby, my family again, and they were all doing well, and I was just like, oh. So I need to go back and just see Aragon and Sephira and Murtag and the Sud and Orc all again. And notice I didn't mention Arya in that. I am not her biggest fan. She annoyed me a lot. Then I have Manga Messiah. Um, he can't, has he come to save the world or destroy it? From the biggest selling book in the history of the world comes the greatest story ever told about the most controversial man who ever lived, presented in the most popular graphic novel format on earth. Do you dare to read his story, even if it may change your life forever? It's really, really good because it just helps me visualize Jesus so much better and ingrain the stories from the Bible in my head. I have like the entire manga collection. I've got Manga Metamorphosis, I've got Manga, I've got all of them. 
The other ones are packed, except for Metamorphosis, which is in my Bible bag, because I carry that one around with me, because it's got my favourite book in the Bible in it. The Book of Acts! <sighs> How am I going to get this on the plane? I think I'm going to have to pack some of these. We've got another box. It's okay. I haven't finished fully, but it's just... Annoying, I thought I limited the amount of okay, you know what? We can put that one in the thing. This is my favorite coloring book. It's got Bible verses. And I think I've done a pretty good job if I say so myself. Look at that. And you just read the thing that goes along with it and it just helps keep me relaxed and calm. This is just a the book I've used for all things Digimon. I will delve into my journals at a better time. This is for camp. This is my recipes. This was just a really cool book I did. And it's got all different types of werewolves. So, Teen Wolf werewolves, Vampire Diaries werewolves, um... Buffy werewolves, just Harry Potter werewolves, all the werewolves you can think of, including Wikipedia. And I put in all the mythologies because I was like, I want to compare all the different stories of all the famous creatures that I see in all these shows constantly, constantly. So I've done werewolves and now I'm on vampires, but I'm having to use the Buffy article for the Buffy section on the wikia and it's taking me slow as molasses because do you have any idea? How many things of information there are about vampires in that, on that? It's, it's exorbitant. And I'm just like, whoever wrote this, how much time do you have? Because I've been stuck on Buffy for the past two months or three months. Because I do it in little bits because I cannot spend my whole time doing it. I will go insane. Ugh, this is not gonna work, is it? I can't fit anything else in. Because the thing is, we don't know when my boxes are gonna arrive, so I want these books with me while I'm there. This one's just important because I need recipes. I'm gonna be cooking without mummy. Maybe you know help I can get. <coughs> This is probably far too heavy. I think this is only meant to be seven kilos. This is not seven kilo. <clears throat> Gosh dang it! I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Why the books have to be so heavy? Well, at least there's one more box, because at least I won't be waiting six months for my parents to bring them out with it. Which books can I... Not you. I need to create a pile of books. Alright, I'm going to end this here because I'm going to run out of space. But Those are the books I was hoping to keep out. Apparently not. Anyway, thanks for listening to this really weird and random video. I hope you enjoyed. You could leave a comment on which books you would keep out if you were moving, because I am, yeah. And like or subscribe if you want. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, it'll either be this or the Clockwork Angel vlog coming out, because I owe you a video from last week, and it was meant to be the Clockwork Angel vlog, which I started uploading on Saturday, and <laughs> Sunday nights, it was still not done. So... Professional. Anyway. Bye, guys.